G'day mates, home slice here, and welcome back to Vampire. We're up to part 15 now, and it's just about to enter the pub to talk to everyone in there, but this guy uh, decided to walk out, so let's talk to him first. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. Mm. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. Yeah, I'd, I'm pretty sure I remember this guy. Uh, like you said, he's just a drunk, and uh, I think he had like the altercation with that sailor or something. I'm not a hundred percent sure though. How's the medical? Inebriation aside, do you need medical help? Yes, I feel sicker than usual these days. Yes, we have it. Take this. And perhaps you could try to slow down the alcohol intake, too. Hey, Doc, you don't really want me to stop the only remedy I can afford. <sighs> You'd think uh, prices would go up in wartime, just so the government has more money or something. What do you do for a living? Yeah, how does he afford it all? What do you do for a living, Mr. Delaney? I drink. <laughs> I drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. And then I drink some more. Why? Why do you drink so much? Maybe it's because I prefer dying slowly. Death can be so abrupt. Personally, I like to see mine coming at my own pace. You sound very sad, sir. That's because I am, Doc. Why, though? Don't you work at all? I'd love to, but I don't have the time. Didn't I tell you? Drink in the morning and at noon. I'll drink at night. How does he afford it then? Maybe he got an inheritance or something, I don't know. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks and... How dare you say such a thing. <laughs> I love this neighborhood. It's so friendly. So oh yeah. Yeah, all of the like wet boot boys like murdering people and harassing people. For money and all that, like the protection racket, sure. No reason at all to rejoice, then. Life is hopeless and then we die, is that it? Let me tell you a story. Alright, sure. Alright. Go on. A few years ago, when I believed a resolute man could change things around here for good, a tragedy occurred nearby. What kind of tragedy? It was a bomb. A bomb that exploded in killed many people. Metal and blood everywhere. Shouts, fire, broken window of the shoe shop, a torn street light. You lost people you loved that day, didn't you? I've lost everything. But you know what the worst part is? I don't even remember where it happened. I've drunk so much to forget it. And now I can't remember where it was. I can't pay my own. I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney. It's okay. If you ever find the place, just leave a flower for me there. Even if you tell me where it is. I'm not sure I'd memorize it. Fuck, that, uh... That's a pretty sad story. That sucks for him. I wonder if, uh... We, like, mesmerized him or something. We'd be able to, like, force him to remember, maybe. Like, I... Wouldn't like going that route but if it was an option i'd probably consider it uh but yeah is there anything to like around here i mean from what i've seen so far other than that old lady there's like no one nice here i guess the uh the bartender's pretty cool too uh but he lied to us so i don't know maybe he's not as good as i think he is but anyway is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town Except for the cheap drinks. And How what? Dare you say? I... This no, let me option was... Another time. Is that dare? All right, we'll go for this one then. Why are you so cynical? Cynicism is the polite way to express despair, Doctor. Okay. Yeah, it was highlighted, so I didn't think I went through it yet. You must have had dreams when younger. Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young. 
like everybody else. Sure. I wanted things to change. To really change. And to change for good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Were you an idealist? The world is that bad? No. No. Sounds like you were an idealist. Which is honourable. No, sir. I was an anarchist and I believe that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. I wanted a new world to rise from the ashes, Dr. Reed. What does he mean by that? Exclusive property, like everyone should just get given a house? Or I don't know what he means by that. Do you really think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it better. But most of us are too weak, too corrupt and too guilty failed for sure but others will come yeah if we can all do better for the world then then why are you drinking yourself to death like god i want to know more about your past as an anarchist dyson i'm still an anarchist doctor make no mistake i just reject violence as a tool to change the world unlike my comrades who are your comrades do you still see your comrades even if you don't agree with their methods anymore, I mean. No. I hope they'll come to share my point of view one day. I'll raise my glass to that splendid idea. Do you believe in a bloodless revolution, then? I do not believe in much anymore, Doctor. But I'll admit, I like your idea of peaceful change. I like it a lot. Yeah, that'd be preferable. You know, no blood spilled. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. I heard he'd been abducted. I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me then? About the sad saint. I'll try asking Tom Watts about him. Yeah, that's the bartender, right? Good bar. I think it is. Yeah, okay, there he is, right, right in there. But there was a bin here I want to loot. Ooh, torn off page of a diary. For looking away when they mock my colour. I hate myself for crying like a girl when they insult me. I hate myself for swearing like a boy when they're gone. I hate myself for hating my parents. I hate myself for smiling when customers call me sad Brina. I hate myself for never finding the courage to tell Tom how I truly feel. Well, that's got to be that. Yeah, this lady in here. So who do we have in here? Tom and her. Well, I uh, wait, is she who is there anyone else sick around here? No recovering. Uh, no one in range. I'm pretty sure I've uh, given like a serum to everyone that's needed it that I've come across, but yeah, let's talk to her first. Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Never mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? Uh, let's have a chat. About the docks, about this pub. I don't know if I've went over these options, but they're highlighted, so I'm guessing not. So let's ask. What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You best be more careful with what you say, sir. You look concerned, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. Yeah, like, um... Like Whitechapel. Everyone, mo well, most people there are just assholes that are... Killing for no reason and robbing for no reason. Why not go? No one feels safe. I'm not afraid. Well, why not go? Because she's secretly in love with Tom. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. So I guess we'll ask this one. So you and your friends all feel in danger? No exceptions? Tom's the only exception I've come across until now. But he's... <laughs> he's not like everybody else. Yeah, he does seem cool, I guess. This place seems, how shall I put it, very colourful. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. 
At least it's not happened yet. Yeah, bar's neutral territory. Your boss must be quite the negotiator. Yeah, I've already talked to him. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Yeah, I guess it could be like a, a bit of a sanctuary for everyone around. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. Yeah, but he's most likely a murderer now, so that sort of sucks. Uh, but yeah, let's ask this personal stuff now. Excuse my curiosity, but where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? Neither. Yeah, I don't judge someone on their skin colour. Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the colour of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburn, and of course Mr. Hampton. You didn't answer my question, like where you're from. Well, at least she didn't, like, get all mad at us or anything. I'm sorry if I worry. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Nosy. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. All right, cool. Now on to this. Sabrina, tell me about your true feelings for your boss. I love Tom. Not ashamed of it. Don't care if the customers joke about it, neither. Who's mocking you? Probably, like... Clay Cox's wife, maybe? Who's mocking you? I mean, we're always together. People will talk, won't they? Uh, doesn't answer my question again. Does Tom love you? Yeah, but he's always reluctant to take it further. It's not because I'm younger, or because of the colour of my skin. He hates jokes about us. <sighs> yeah, because, um... Like... I oh, will ask this first. Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. Okay, then. Goodbye. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, it's probably like those two guys at um, the hospital. Like, they're, what well, one of them's like super scared because, you know, he's scared of getting like ashamed by the public and beaten and whatever else may happen. Did I check up here the first time around? I don't think I did. Got a lootable here. Yeah, so what else do we have up here? A note? Oh no, we can't pick that one. Oh, a safe though. <laughs> I love it how we can just open his safe and take whatever we want. And yes, this is the room where Swansea was hanging out. Is there anything new here? Doesn't look like it. Who's that? Isn't that like the leader of the pre one, that guy? Because I don't like that guy. He's sort of uh, crazy. <laughs> uh, judging by his uh, writings, of course. But yeah, let's talk to Tom now. Hopefully he tells us where Sean is. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Hmm. Welcome back, Doctor. Thank you. About this part of town, well, I guess we'll, we'll ask. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. Oh, do they not know that he's killed someone or at least unintentionally killed someone? Like, they mustn't know, right, if they're still, like, praising him for how good he is. Uh, but yeah, how do you keep this place open? How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. 
antagonist point of view. Is there anything I can do? You're something of a figurehead. Is there anything I can do? Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Hmm. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save hmm. many dry throats. Thanks. Uh, I don't know where this... Uh, warehouse is. I assume it will be on the map somewhere. So that's where Dorothy is. Yeah, I don't see anything on the map here. What about in the quest log? Uh, we got the investigation thing. Uh, where's Tom Watts? Here. Yeah. Retrieve some gin bottles from Tom Watts' stash. Alright, well, we will uh, do that eventually. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Or well, something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. Mm. Fair enough, I guess. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Yeah, there he goes again, talking about him. So th he mustn't know. Why does your waitress feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse, as always. Sabrina is a brave girl, but she can't help feeling in danger. Do you think she has good reason to feel this way? Are you not worried about her safety? Of course I am. The truth is, she's tougher than me deep inside. She just has to learn to control it. Yeah, she seems uh, pretty strong, of course. Sabrina seems really fond of you. Sabrina seems very fond of you, Tom. I like her too. I really do. I know I'm her boss, and I'm much older and all, but I like her for sure. What is bothering you then? Sabrina is an angry one. She wears it like a coat. I'm not sure I can make her shed that anger. Uh, it hurts to see her like that. She doesn't seem angry, unless I'm like not picking that up from her, but well, if that's what he thinks, can't really do much. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Nope. Did he leave or something? Yes. Yes, he did. I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Oh. I like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. It would explain his faith and need to help everyone. And he supposedly got molested. Hopefully not true, but it probably is. The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. All right, let's do it. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Okay, it's not very far. Pretty sure I've talked to everyone here. So, yeah, let's get on the move. I'll uh, still try and avoid combat where I can. Just so the status of the district uh, doesn't go down any further. I've actually helped a fair few people, so maybe it would uh, go up. But yes, here we are, the Western Docks. Uh, no signals, but there's a lot of blood. Uh, I don't want to fight these guys, but I feel like I have to go in here to, uh, proceed with the quest, so let's do it. Yeah, the Jimmy, the Spark, 
and a pre-1 gunner. We're four levels down. Yeah, so that door's locked now, so I guess I did have to come in here. Seems like the guard of oh. on Hampton's trail. Fuck. Oh, stop hurting me. Let me, let me get some blood. Yes. Oh. Dodge. Yeah, he's, uh... His flamethrower didn't get me. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Shit. Oh, there's a few. Oh, God, I hate that attack. I need a heal. Oh, there we go. Shit, need a dodge. Get this guy. Oh, I'm out, I'm out of stamina. Oh, no. Oh, please, let me dodge. Use that thing. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, that attack again. Oh, we got him. Holy moly. God damn it, that cancelled my attack. Are the ads just gonna keep coming? Because that really sucks if... If they are. God, I'm just like... Taking so much damage from this. They just do that attack where they back off. Oh, crap. Use this. Oh, he still damages us. I can't move my camera. Alright, we're good. Fuck. Yeah, I know already. Yeah, then he just sways backwards. And more keep jumping down. Oh, God, I'm totally gonna die here. I can't do this. Oh, we got him. Yeah, that... More just keep on coming in. This is so shit. And his stamina bar is so high, like... I, I can barely get an attack on him, and the camera's, like, so wonky right now. Oh, uh, and it, I'm dead. Okay, well, I'm going to kill these guys, and then I will cut to after they've been uh, defeated. So, yeah. Be back in a minute, I suppose. Okay, after about 10 minutes, I finally uh, defeated this guy, uh, these guys, and Jonathan had about a comment about this guy on the ground right here, and um, he said, like, if it's uh, Sean's doing, then he's turned into, like, a, a ravenous beast or something. Uh, which is pretty unfortunate, uh, but yeah, I'm all out of ammo now. Uh, that fight was pretty bloody hard, but I got a, a lot of XP, so that's uh, really good. I want to level up my ultimate ability. Seems really good. I'm going to save up my XP uh, for as long as I can. God, we got so many more of these guys. Really love to come across a hideout right now. Uh, yeah, can't go through that door, and there's nothing else in there. So I guess we just gotta keep running here, probably get into combat again. I don't want to go near those guys, they're five levels above me. And they have flamethrowers as well. So, oh shit. Level 16, okay. Gonna try avoid them as well. Just avoid combat as much as I can, I hope they don't aggro onto me. That'd suck. Oh, shit. Oh, they're fighting there. There's, like, level... Yeah, level 16s ganging up on level 7s and level 10s. Got another guy coming up here. What level's he? 16. Yeah, really just want to not deal with those guys right now. My quest marker is telling me that I need to go down. So, I'm guessing it's on, like, a lower part of the town. So, nothing in there. Fuck, another flamethrower guy. And another one there. That's an executioner, apparently. 
got all... Oh, down there. Okay. Another one of those teleporting ones. I hate those. Can't go in there. Can loot this, though. It seems there's, um... No other way. I'm gonna have to enter combat at least once again so I can get through these guys. This, um, executioner guy over here. Or maybe I could just run. Please, sir. Can't let you through. Uh, there's... Okay. Oh, he's weak. He's weak as hell. I'm gonna get some, uh, blood from him. Okay, well, I guess he's like, um... Shit. High damage, uh, but very low defense. But yeah, so I'm just going to run from here. Want to avoid the combat. He'll, uh, de-aggro eventually, I hope. Shit, I don't know which way to go. Keep out. Uh, well, I guess this is maybe the place. Let's, uh, run through here, though. See if there's anything useful down here. Night shelters vicinity. There's a door that we can't get through there. God, there's a bunch of blood. Oh, rat. Oh, we're full blood. I don't need to eat it. Oh, there's a door here. Is this a hideout? I think this might be a hideout. Let's... Yeah, this door's unlocked now. Don't know why it was locked in the first place, but... Whatever. That doesn't really matter. What else do we have here? Chest, a safe, and a, a note? No, nope, more money. Okay, good. <sighs> I'm getting uh, quite a large amount of money now, so when I go back, I'll be able to spend some. So where are we right now here? And I'm pretty sure I came from that way. Oh, we got to hide out there, though. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go for that. We'll run through here. Nice shoulders vicinity. Yeah, it's, that's not far at all, so uh, do we have a teleport option, or... I should probably keep an eye out for more. Oh, we got some people here. Some normal people. Well, before I do that, can I go through... Yes, I can. Doors unlocked. And that's a hideout up there. Yes! Thank goodness. Gonna get a loading screen? No? Good. Okay, good, 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 good. There's a dead guy in here. Uh, I need to craft some serums. Yep, I need the cold, and I need the anemia one. Good, awesome. Alright, can we upgrade? I don't think so. Yeah, we still need better handle parts. Uh, probably no point to recycling any of those. Maybe I'm going to use... Wait, these are actually, like, really cheap to make. So, yeah, I'm going to craft those. The getting more blood points is, like, so good. It's so useful. And we've got a better gun, actually. Wait, no, that's 45 damage. That's 40. What do I have on me right now? Use revolver. Yeah, that's the one that does 45. That holds 9 versus 6. The reload time's faster. Yeah, I'm going to switch. I'm going to use this one instead of the revolver. Use prill and steak. Yep, they're the same. Can we upgrade this uh, gun? We can, right? Yes, we can. Oh, no, I need a smaller... Oh, no, I don't need to. Increase damage. Well, let's do it. And, yeah, sure, let's use this as well. More damage. Wait, what's that one? Ah, oh, more reload time. Alright, so now I need good parts. What about my shotgun? Yeah, sure. More damage. Oh, the reload time's quite slow on this. So I'm actually going to go for the reload time because it does enough damage as it is. Uh, but yes, now for the more important part, the... Uh, leveling up my ultimate if I can. I'm pretty sure it's 2,000 experience. Oh, I need level 14! And to get level 14, I need to level up other abilities. Shit. Well, what can I go for? Health? 
blood blood absorption rate yep all right we're going for that blood absorption is so good increase the number of bullets um i'm starting to like the guns more and more so i think ah oh, it's it's hard what about life regeneration that's 600 for only 5% more. That's not great. What about the bite? The bite does... Wait, 150 to 300? Hell yes. Then 400? Wait, do I have enough? Oh, I don't. I'm... Shit, I'm 30 off. Oh, well, let's uh, confirm. Hopefully we get level uh, 14. And then we can uh, level up our ultimate. But yes, please. Wait, really? Oh, it went down, but now it's back up to 87. Alright, that's good. You're at 99? Yeah, because I need to get this guy his bloody headache treatment. And I don't have the uh, headache treatment yet. Oh, shit. Oh, that only went down 2%. See, all these guys... God, neuralgia. Fatigue. There were... Shit, he's got fatigue now. So three people there have fatigue. Oh, yeah, so much for this guy and, like, being protected by the Lord and all that. They're still at 85 because I haven't discovered them. But, all right, that wasn't too terrible. Please, though. Yes, level 14. Great. Okay. We can level up our... Um, ultimate the next level up stage now which is wait 500 meters what is 500 meters away convince this guy to go back to Whitechapel all right well before I run over 500 meters I need to solve this Sean Hampton mystery who are you oh it's this vampire hunter guy oh well I I won't uh, bother talking to him good evening miss i'm dr jonathan reed may i have your attention for a minute good evening sir my name is giselle paxton but i don't have time for men like you have we met before no but i just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night <laughs> that's quite judgmental <laughs> yeah sir, i've led enough strikes when i had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class really yeah, bundle everyone into the same... Like, generalize everyone who has clothes like Jonathan. Wow. What a smart thing to do. Well, you're healthy, so... Don't need to bother. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? Doctors work hard too. You don't like me much. Well, yeah, I imagine... Uh, like surgery that'd be pretty stressful right you know trying to save someone's life like that'd be a hard job and then if they die you need to live with the guilt for the rest of your life as i told you i'm a doctor you have to work a lot to earn that title oh a doctor born with money in a nice house were we was daddy a banker or a doctor himself I don't know that, so I can't actually answer. Probably. Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes, unlike your Of course I am. Fuck, you're so blind. You don't even see your privilege. Lazy people like you disgust me. He's lazy. Okay, well, she's got her head pretty far up her ass then. What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what, just spend a few weeks here. And then ask me that question again. If you're still alive, I mean. Say clearly what you think of me. She just did. And yeah, I get... I don't know about an actual enemy, like a... An aggressive enemy, but she probably does see me as someone bad. If you have something to say, say it. I'm getting tired of all this. Oh. You want information instead. Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. Wow. So obvious. You don't know me, Miss Paxton, and yet you see me as an enemy. Oh, 
Your manners, your clothes, your words tell me everything about you, sir. I know your kind, and you don't belong here. What? What's wrong with my manners? You're right. I have never suffered from poverty. But that doesn't mean I don't fight it and its consequences. I really doubt you ever had to fight for anything in your life, Dr. Reed. Oh, I did fight in the war, but I don't know why Jonathan didn't say that. Uh, but whatever. You speak of strikes and class enemy. Am I right to assume you're involved in trade union activism? You bet I am. Well, I was. Nowadays, I'm just another worker blacklisted by the big companies. <laughs> yeah, probably. Your beliefs cost you your job, no support from the union. You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a worker who refuses slave wages and unsafe conditions, especially when it's a woman. No support from the trade union? Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Why don't they support you? A few nights back, I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia in uniform. I'm well, sure they robbed me. That's your own bloody fault. Like, yeah, I assume she's talking about the pre one, and those guys are fucking assholes, but she shouldn't have been getting drunk, just like the guy at the pub. Like, he says, oh, yeah, we need to help each other and all that, but then he gets pissed every night. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. Then they, like, blame someone else, but whatever. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your royal highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pants. <sighs> well, gosh, she really just has it in for me, doesn't she? It's locked. Yeah, locked, of course. That one isn't, though. Who else do we have here? Anyone nicer than her? That'd be nice. How about you? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Well, she seems nicer already. Which is nice. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. Are you homeless? Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. It's a safe place for me and my sister. Why do they call him the sad saint? I, I think I may have heard that already, but I can't remember. What can you tell me about the sad saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton, the sad saint of the East End. He gave me shelter. And he's not always sad. Oh, is it just because he's actually, like, sad all the time? What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself? You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. You think I should leave? What are the local dangers? You really think I should go back to a safer place, miss? No. I think you had better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. Yeah, they don't seem very nice. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. So... Get into trouble. You can always seek help at Sean Hampton's shelter. No one would dare to be violent there. So she pretty much means her sister, like a drunk. Avoid drunks. Well, good advice. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. 
Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Hopefully. Goodbye. Find Sean in the area. He's got to be... Oh, he's right here. Shit. Oh, God, there's a blood trail. It's down there, but I don't know where that is. Somewhere outside. Well, just before I talk to him, I want to have a really quick look here. See if there's anything useful. There were a few hints um, that I unlocked when we were talking to some of those guys. Can I jump? No, I can't jump over that. Okay. All right, let's run down and talk to him. I, I'm going to hope that I don't miss anything. I really hope he isn't a murderer, because that would suck. He doesn't see... He's not acting all crazy and like a skull right now, so... Oh, folded paper. Forgive me, God, for what I'm about to confess. Sometimes I wish I never saved Dyson Delany from drowning when he fell in the canal. There I said it. Please forgive me, Lord, for I'm just a sinner. Dyson may be the most frustrating case I ever had to deal with since I opened my night shelter in the East End. For years, I have tried to understand why this man regularly makes me so irritated, and I think I recently found why. Dyson has stopped fighting, for good and forever. I've met so many heavy drinkers in my life, men and women, rich and poor, young and old. I've witnessed their fight with their demons, their past, their guilt, and their failures. Sometimes they can put a name on this inner evil of theirs. Sometimes they have never been able to identify the real cause of their despair. But in most cases, for these men and women, to drink is a way to keep fighting. Of course, it is a useless and destructive form of struggle, but at least this self-destruction means that something makes them suffer, and they still fight against this pain they feel so deep inside. Even a severe alcoholic like William Bishop keeps struggling with his addiction and asking for a salvation, for the light of Christ. And as long as they wish to see this light, there is a place for hope. Dyson Delany has no hope left. He does not drink to smother his pain. No, I am now convinced he conscientiously drinks for the sadist joy of smothering all hope. I really don't know what is a worst sin, to deliberately cast away hope from your own heart or completely bask in self-destruction. God, that's sort of depressing. But at least we've got a new hint with our Dyson now. Can I loot? Yes, good, good. Oh, we got one last one locked. Oh, it's not. Good. Wait, there's a bottle of alcohol. Is he a drinker as well? Is he a hypocrite? Let's have a chat. Avoid a long face, Doctor. Holy shit. He does not look very good right now. Look at his eyes. Is it all that worries you? We have both changed a lot. How dare you. Oh, God, I hope this choice doesn't really matter. God, that'd suck. We've both changed a lot. It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Why return here? Aren't you afraid of what you are? Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. You're a helpful skull. Remember William Bishop. Are they, are they like conscious skulls? Like... I thought they were all crazy, like, and they just scream and attack anyone on sight, but he's clearly still able to talk and, like, reason with people. Wonders never cease. Scowl, managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor. Meals laid out before you. Yet you restrain. You restrain, did he say? Remember William Bishop? 
was he a van or a skull this whole time? If he was, like, it, it, he fooled me 100%. And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. So, were they... Did he, like, attack William in the first place, maybe? I don't know. God, I've got so many more questions now. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. Don't holy symbols repel you. You must drink blood now. Yeah, he's got his own cross on his... around, like, around his neck. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. Uh, I don't know what he mean. What does he mean, like, my imperfections? Like, aren't all the... Like I've said already, aren't they all, like, crazy? Wouldn't you prefer to be an Ekon like Jonathan over a skull, right? Or am I missing something? But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. So saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh, no blood. Oh, <laughs> that'd be worse. Eating human flesh. And uh, I love it how they always cherry pick lines from the Bible to like justify anything. But yeah, did he really kill Harriet Jones though? I mean, it certainly looks like he does. Oh, well, he did. But maybe he didn't. Let's see. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? Weren't you close to her? You say you're innocent. Yeah, I... He could be fooling me again, but... I just don't think he did it. But you were close to her? Of course. But she was lost. Separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. She has, like, dementia... D had dementia or some other mental condition that she couldn't control like god had nothing to do with it so you claim miss jones death was not by your hand nor the other incidents at pembroke though harriet was an angry spiteful woman she was one of god's creatures i have nothing but love for all he has made <sighs> people have been murdered i've seen the blood I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the river bank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. I'm impressed, I'm intrigued, I'm doubtful. Uh, I'm definitely not impressed. I'm a little doubtful. But I'm more intrigued than anything. So we'll go for this one. Ho hopefully it doesn't fuck up like a hint or whatever. If it does, I won't be very happy. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I surrender myself to your judgment. Okay, good. Alright, we will uh, go explore the sewers in the next episode and we'll uh, discover whatever it is, like whatever his uh, secret is. Uh, so yeah, I'll end this one here. Peace in the Middle East and may all your games be good ones.